to change the topic up a little bit today, um, there's a couple sports stories I want to get out before um, before I have to go to work at my job, Meyer, at 3.30. Um, yes, baseball season does start next week, but um, but what, what baseball is going to do is that they're not going to allow the fans to be inside the stadium because of the rising cases in COVID-19. So they're going to broadcast footage off the scoreboard um, with with the fans and everything like that. So because since the fans can't be in the stadium, they're going to play like footage from the scoreboard and everything like that. So you could see the audience that way. It's just not the same. For me, I'm the type of person that likes to be, um, um, before this COVID-19 started, I'm the type of person that actually likes to be at the game in itself. So I could see this shit happen up front and impersonal. I like to see players hit home runs. Um, basketball, even though they only have eight games left, um, now if you happen to notice, and I've been noticing it myself, that the centers in basketball are starting to shoot threes with more consistency, but there's only eight games left in the season. So, but they're only going to bring back the teams that were going to be in the playoffs. So the Bulls are out, and I knew they would be because they suck. They haven't been, been the same since Jordan left, and even though I am a Bulls fan, and I will admit, even with me being a Bulls fan, that they fucking suck. Um, now, um, Alex Rodriguez, if you, if you, um, people in baseball know who he is, he's a big name. Um, he had also had a controversy with this, with the steroid scandal. Um, but, but Alex Rodriguez is, is, um, is one of four people, is one of four groups, um, bidding to buy the New York Mets baseball team. Um, and then coming from New York, Alex Rodriguez is among four groups of bidders that's, um, for um, who are, are looking for a possible purchase of the New York Mets baseball team, and he has called and he has called for baseball players to accept the kind of revenue sharing system that is tied to the salary cap, and he and sparked a quick um, uh, and, and and sparked a quick opposition from the union. Following the collapse of labor talks dealing with the fallout of the coronavirus pandemic, relations between Major League Baseball and the Players Association are at the lowest point in a quarter century. The sides appear headed to a spring training lockout in um, in the year 2022. Preparing for the start of his third season as an analyst on, uh, as an analyst on, e on ESPN's um, su Sunday night telecast, um, Rodriguez had said that baseball players' leverage had changed since they fall off the owner salary cap proposal with the seven-and-a-half month strike that followed in 1994-95. He said the rise of the NFL and NBA had changed the e equation, the equation along with the digital media, and said that the Players Association should work collabor collaboratively with the MLB to raise the sports market share. The only way the only way that this is going to happen is if they get to the table and say the number one goal, and, and, and say the number one goal, let's get from $10 billion, $10 billion to $15 billion, and then we'll split the, and we'll, and we'll split the economics evenly, he said Thursday during a conference call, but that's the, that's the type of conversation instead of fighting and fighting against each other because there's too much competition out there right now. Um, the baseball commissioner, dumbass Rob Manfred, that unilaterally announced a 60-game schedule this year as the union kept open the possibility of, of filing a grievance accusing teams of negotiating in bad faith. The union lost a grievance this year accusing the Chicago Cubs of, of manipulating the service time of their star third baseman Chris Bryant to delay his eligibility for free agency, and they have a pending grievance charging several teams with failing to properly use proceeds from the revenue-sharing plan among big league clubs. Rodriguez made made about four hundred forty eight million dollars in his big league career. He debuted with the Texas with Texas and um actually they got this wrong. Um, they said he debuted with Texas in July of nineteen ninety four. Technically, he debuted with Seattle Mariners, not Texas. And he was sent back down to AAA for ten days before the strike started on August twelfth. He maintains an understanding that the leverage of the players in nineteen ninety four was wholly different than today. Then he says today he says today we had a, he says then we had a strange hold on the professional sports baseball was one he said today the NBA has become an international conglomerate and NFL NFL is a jug, juggernaut back then there was no Netflix there was no Snapchat there was no Disney Plus ES, ESP, ESPN Plus and everything that we're, they're doing to attract the attention of sports fans today so today we have to really work hard to coll um, collaboratively with the players and the owners so, so to um, to say how. Do we compete together to become number one? Rodriguez, who turns 45 on July 27th, is a three-time American League MVP. 
He was suspended by the MB, by the MLB for the entire 2014 season for violation of the sports drug agreement and labor contract. The Players Association filed a grievance on his behalf, and although the suspension was not reduced, arbitrator Frederick Horowitz restored $2,868,852 of his $25 million salary for that season, which was 21 of, 100, uh, and of 183rds of, of the total. Baseball players have, have resisted the types of salary cap and revenue sharing that's been used by the NFL, NBA, and NHL. Alex benefited as much as anybody from the battles this union fought against um, owners' repeated attempts to get a salary cap union head, Tony Clark said in a statement. Now that he is attempting to become an owner himself, his, pros his perspective appears to be different, and that perspective does not reflect the best interests of the players. Rodriguez tweeted a statement Friday that he never mentioned the word salary cap and that he suggested both sides work together to make baseball as big as the NFL and, and the NBA. He said he had contacted Clark to make sure we were aligned in talking and talking and taking our sport to the next level. Rodriguez and his girlfriend Jennifer Lopez um, are among the bidders for the for the New York Mets, um, retaining J.P. Morgan Chase as their advisor for the um, after the Wilpon and um, and Katz family failed to close a deal with the hedge fund manager Steve Cohen. Cohen had brought an eight percent limited partnership stake in 2012 for 40 million, and the deal that failed to close would ha would would have seen him acquire would would have seen him acquire 80 percent of the controlling share, and a in a transaction that would have valued that would have valued the team at the time to be six point two point six billion dollars. Four four bidders will be given more information for a second round of bidding in several weeks. A person familiar with the bidding. Um. Um. Four bidders will be given more information for a second round of bidding in several weeks. A person familiar with the bidding told the Associated Press, the person spoke on condition of anonymity because no announcements were ever made. The, Wol the Wolpon and Katz um, um, family hope to, deal with, hope to have a deal in place in time for a sale to take place by the end of 2020, the person said. A proposed agreement likely would require a three-month team, a three-month lead, lead time for the MLB vetting prior to a vote for approval. Rodriguez will likely not be broadcast. Um, um, but, but likely not broadcast Mets games while bidding for the team. ESPN senior uh, vice president of production and remote events, Mark, Gar uh, Mark Gross, said, Chipper Jones will work the Braves-Mets game with John Shiambi on July 26, um, ESPN's um, first Sunday night telecast this year. Rodriguez and Matt Bess, 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 Bess Jersey is, I'm not sure if I'm saying the name right, it's tongue-tied, Bess Gersian, will broadcast a second game of a doubleheader that night, the San Francisco Giants game at the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Mets are not currently scheduled for any other Sunday night games for that time being. Yeah, but Rodriguez would, would have been a Hall of Famer if, he, if it wasn't for the fact that he was suspended for one year due to admitting that he took steroids, so that fucked up his chances for the Hall of Fame. So the only way that he could really make up for this is to be an owner or become a manager, and see how he can do, and right now he's looking to own a team he doesn't look like he wants to manage.